Hello and welcome to Softech Forum. Today we will be going through some uh, basic things how we can load the data uh, into one single database uh, table from multiple files. From multiple files, I mean to say from multiple files with the same metadata. Same metadata means uh, that uh, files and uh, structure and uh, column name and all has to be same. You can see that all the files structures and all all the columns names are same with that different date data. And uh, and this file I will try to execute uh, and load the data into with this database file. I have created one database table with empty and th this uh, table I will be trying to load this data with the help of for each loop container. Now let me drag one for each loop container over there and uh, I'll just uh, try to execute like this table with the I'll try to create that uh, variables as file 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 path and fi I'll, I'll just uh, give that uh, string as an uh, variable and the file path I'll just mention that file path so I'll take that uh, file path up from that folder and uh, paste it over there file path okay so this is my variable with the file path now I'll just try to configure this for each loop container and the collections and all you can you can see that uh, how, how that uh, how, how many illuminators are there in my description of the video you can go through the description of the video and you can take a look and how many uh, uh, fully qualified name extension and name only also I have explained in my description of the video you can take a look so just go click on the ex expression and direct this di directory and uh, you can just drag the uh, pa uh, variable whatever you have de defined press ok ok variable mapping the new variable and uh, there you have to give the file name as you are not specifying anything on the so you have to give the file name and press an ok sorry uh, again go there and collection here you have to give name and extension because you are not uh, specifying anything on that just giving the file name so what are all that name and extension fully qualified qualified and name only you can take a look in the description of the video you will be coming to know or you take a, get an idea what are all those three difference uh, segment so press an ok now to load the data i need to drag one data flow task right to, to load the data into the database server and press on uh, uh, take on excel source and pdw destination now the excel source you just specify the excel uh, folder any any file you can choose that doesn't matter press ok and uh, select the sheet name sheet name also has to be same on that every file so excel source is ready now choose that uh, file uh, uh, the, the destination table name for each for each loop that table and uh, the same structure so it will not be an issue Sorry. so it will be the same structure so press ok so my thing is ready now if you are running this file it will it will be loading only one times or only one uh, one, one um, file three times so to configure the different files you need to go to the properties of the excel connection press on the ex expression and excel path and you have to drag that file path and append with the file name that's it my package is ready now as you are seeing that error is coming because i haven't mentioned any file name over there so you have to make sure the delay validation is true or else it will be it will not work and delay validation make the true for this also what all is required okay fine delay validation make everywhere it is uh, true no or else it will fail yeah now you run this package so you'll see it will be loading for the three times and uh, you, 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 you will get the data into that uh, database tables for various see now i can you can see i'll just uh, try to execute see now first set of files has been loaded now I am waiting for the now again it is executing the loop is getting rounded like a uh, second iteration it, it has loaded for the different data you know different data it has loaded now third iteration it will be loading some other data so as you can see with the for each loop you can load the data with uh, different from different files to the single multiple single database tables thank you for watching this, this video and see you in the next video thank you